10x10 provides many new features that allow the user to easily perform tasks using only a touch device. Elements respond naturally to gestures for scrolling and dragging. The on-screen radio spot provides quick command access, while the new slim ribbon layout provides easy access to all the commands available on the ribbon, but in a format which is more accessible. Dialogues have been made scrollable. The numeric touchpad makes input fast and convenient. Let's run through a brief demonstration by first creating a sketch. Select the plane using Quick Pick and complete with a double tab. And we're going to put a rectangle in. Finish that off with a circle. And then we're going to clean that up. And we can trim by selecting lines or drawing a line. If we make a mistake, we can use the radial to reset the sketch. Now what we want to do is revolve this around that left line. We can select the line, double tap to complete. We actually want to make three of these. So we're going to go ahead and do a pattern. Select it. And again, use Quick Pick to select the origin. The next thing I want to show you is an app called Realize Shape, which seems to work very well at touch because it involves intuitive motions. I'm going to take the bottom of the sphere. I'm going to transform it by dragging it up, flattening it out a bit. Next thing I'm going to do is take the top and expand it. And then I want to take this top face and subdivide it a bit. Use the numeric keypad because it's a little easier to get the numbers that I want. So on the top, I'm going to drag this out and finish that up. Let's make this look a little better by adding some materials. I want to select everything so I can press and hold and do a lasso. I can select the material I want and drag it or just press it. I do a sub-selection, just drag the lasso around what I want, and then I can make the dome clear. Apply a seam and finish it up.